Hey everybody, what is going on and welcome to another video. It's another rainy Sunday today. Um, it's been raining the past couple days. Honestly, I don't mind it. I love when it rains. It's really soothing to me. I don't know what it is. Something about the sound of the rain. Let's talk about today's controversy, if you even want to call it that. Um, come on guys, this is what we want to be mad about today. Like, come on man. So the controversy. Apparently, there is going to be a race for the first 100 people to get to level 100 in hardcore are going to get their name on a Lila, IRL Lila statue at Blizzard headquarters. So people might be wondering why is that a controversy? Well, smart viewer, it's not. There's no controversy here. It's simply that people are mad that people that played the game for those two weeks that it was available in beta which I thought it was you were limited to a certain level but maybe not I guess based on some the um, uh, based on some of the comments that I saw in this thread here um, and also this one which is on Asmongold subreddit which is where I first saw this um, Somebody even said it's not that big of a controversy. It's really not, guys. It really isn't. Because how many people are actually going to be able to make it to level 100 on Hardcore? Okay. Without dying. Which I imagine Hardcore is going to be like Hardcore WoW. It's going to be like Hardcore Iron Man on RuneScape. Where if you die, you die in real life. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Some people probably feel that way, though. But if you die, your character is locked. I think Hardcore Iron Man, you just lose your status and you go down to regular Iron Man in, Rune in uh, RuneScape. But in uh wow technically it's not actually a game mode it's uh an add-on that people have set up um which is one re one thing that i've always given blizzard a lot of props for is the fact that they have the add-on system in wow because not a lot of mmos even would allow add-ons um and a lot of the add-ons kind of skirt around their uh restrictions like free to play the free to play community had their own add-ons so that you could talk kind of you were in your own little free-to-play guild essentially you could talk to all the free-to-play players through global chat um but yeah this is just another controversy if you want to call it because people are mad that they're not going to get the game for, for all the people that are not going to get the game four days early or, or, or aren't going to be able to grind for those four days um are just mad that this is just something else they're going to be missing out on but here's the thing this hardcore challenge was not made for the people who've got families, who've got a job. This is this is made for the people with no obligations in their real life. So, like me, for those four days. Well, technically five, because I was told that you can actually play the game June 1st at 7 p.m. And um, because I did this video already, you can actually pre-download the game uh, May 30th. Oh, it was on this page, I think. Yeah, June 1st at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, I don't even know what this stands for, PDT, I can't remember. Essentially, this means add three hours to it for if you're on the east, if you're uh, in Eastern time. Uh, so we're going to get to play at June 1st at 7 p.m. Um, for people who pre-purchase the Digital Deluxe or Ultimate Edition. And um, yeah, and it launches June 5th for at, uh, three, at a 7 as well, Eastern time. And here it is, May 30th at 4 p.m. or 7 o'clock, you can uh, pre-install the game. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not a controversy, guys. They're just trying to do a little, they're just trying to, they're trying to boost the amount of people that are going to come play. People are going to come and play this game just because now there's a challenge. There's a challenge to, there's going to be a race to potentially be the, the world's first level 100 or world first hardcore those were already going to be races but you don't see anybody people you know people are going to race for the to be world's first but you don't see anybody complaining about any of that stuff Ooh, world's first to i assume to defeat lilith or to make to max level or you know world's first for whatever people aren't complaining about that but of course they want to complain about the fact that people have essentially min maxed the game already well you know what complain to blizzard about that you know what i'm saying Com you know companies shouldn't be essentially releasing the entirety of the game in their open beta that's where a lot of these companies are really fucking up and messing up is that they 
that when they do a beta or they do an open beta or they do a closed beta or whatever, they they release the entirety of the game. Why? I mean, you're just you're essentially shooting yourself in the foot. Now, I paid ninety dollars for this game because, of course, like I said, I bought the digital deluxe edition. You can already see that. Uh, um, there was a way to. Oh yeah, it was right here. Shop Diablo Four. Uh, pre-purchase for late. So. You can see I have the option to upgrade to the Ultimate Edition for an extra $10. Not going to happen, I can tell you that right now. So if you scroll down here, you can see the Standard Edition does not get it four days early, which is what I originally thought was that if you pre-purchase the Standard Edition, you'd get it four days early. So I had to buy the Digital Deluxe Edition. You get this Temptation mount, which, ooh, so early. You also get the um, season, the first Season Pass. Um, but if you get the Ultimate Edition, you get 20 tier skips and the wings of the creator emote. Just my opinion, it's not worth it. It's not worth the extra $10. Just saying. Um, you already get the mount and the uh, the Hellborn uh, Carapace mount armor with the Digital Deluxe Edition, which is already you're spending $90. Which I don't understand why this is $70. Why is this not $80? And then you should have included... And honestly, this is where we're lucky. We're lucky that Blizzard didn't lock the four days early access behind the Ultimate Edition, because then you'd be even more sick. You had to spend a hundred dollars on this game just to get it four days early. But people are complaining because they're like, "Oh, people that get it four days early get such a big head start." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I mean, how many people are gonna die playing hardcore?" Okay, there's a lot of people like me who are complete noobs. This is the first. Um, this is the first like major Diablo. Uh, launch that I've that I've that I've you know been old enough to actually be interested in playing and now I have friends that um, are actually interested in playing Diablo or have experience playing Diablo so I finally have some people to play it with um, who are going to be attempting this that are probably going to die I'm probably going to die a lot I'm just saying I'm kind of a scrub the game was really fun though um, I don't know what character I'm going to play probably a barbarian because I had a lot of fun playing barbarian but now that there's a grind, now that there's like a world's first kind of to get uh, level 100 um, in hardcore, which I don't remember seeing a hardcore option on the server slam, but maybe I wasn't looking for it. Uh, maybe I missed, maybe that was an option that I didn't see, but maybe it wasn't available in the server slam. That's the only time that I got to play the game. Um, that's the only time I got to play. I didn't play the uh, the closed beta or whatever it was called um, previously, like the two week beta that they had. I didn't get the chance to play that. But um, you got a lot of people like me that are just not gonna that are that are gonna be sweaty, but are probably gonna be bad at the game initially. Um, I didn't really have kind of struggle uh, when I did the server slam. I just didn't have enough time to play to level twenty because <clears throat> I didn't even know that it was uh, a thing actually so um <clears throat> but anyway oh actually i think what it was you had to pre-purchase the game to get the beta previously so people were mad about that i think that's why i didn't get a chance to play it because people were mad about that and they're like oh the people that got to play it two weeks you know they're already gonna have a head start well yeah no shit the game no matter whether or not people got to play this two weeks earlier or not all the big content creators played that beta. All the big content creators played two weeks early. All the big content creators fucking maxed, you know, min-maxed their content about on the video. So there's already so much known about the game before it has even released. So people already were going to know what the best classes were to to run through the game. People, I've seen people talk about Sorcerer's really broken... I'm just going to play the game to have fun, and, and I'll do the hardcore, and if, you know, if I make it, I make it. If not, then I don't, and that's just what it is. But yeah, I mean, the game the game looks awesome. I mean, the specs to, the required specs to play the game, um, the system requirements for the game, I mean, look at this, guys. This is nothing to be able to play. Everybody can play this game. I mean, when's the last time you've seen an FX80, an FX series chip alone? You know whether or not it's the 8350 as a minimum requirement for a game a gtx 660 holy crap i had a 660 like in 2013 you know what i'm saying or an r9 280 like these specs i mean these are nothing for the specs of the, of the game you know what i'm saying like 
like this game is something everybody can play the cutscenes look beautiful i mean really well done i mean that intro cinematic for the game was fantastic i was blown away by how by how good that looked some people have complained about the voice acting but i'm like that doesn't matter really and then people just want to get butthurt over something else. Like, come on, man. If you want to be butthurt, be butthurt about what they've done to Overwatch. Be butthurt about the WoW token in Classic, which, in my opinion, it's not even a big deal. Okay, this isn't even a controversy. This is just Blizzard trying to do something cool to kind of boost hype for their game. To get people excited. Like, oh, wow. I could go be the first 100 people to hit level 100 on, on Hardcore and get my name on a statue. Isn't that cool? And then people just want to be mad about it. I'm like, oh, right, guys. Look, if you don't want to pay, if you don't, if you're mad about the price of the game at $70, pay the $90, get it four days early like everybody else, and you got yourself an opportunity to get it. And here's the thing, right? If you're if you're mad that you're not going to have the same amount of time to play as everybody else, well, listen, let me, let me tell you, folks. There are streamers and there are content creators that have no fucking family obligations, no partner obligations, no job outside of their doing content or streaming that are going to have fucking free reign to grind this game constantly. And that is what is going to happen. I'm, I, and there's no, you know, there's no reason to be mad about it. That is what is going to happen. People are going to be grinding the fuck out of this game because they got nothing else to do, myself included. And, you know, that's just what's going to happen. People are going to hit that level 100 on hardcore. But this, this definitely, I think, if anything, brings the the debate or the topic about which world tier to pick, tier one or tier two, back into the back into the light. Because I think at this point, everybody's going to be grinding tier world tier one. Nobody's even going to bother with tier world tier two. The the boosted gold and XP is not going to be worth it unless you get a really good group and that boosted XP does come in handy. But just being able to run through bosses and stuff easier is where it's at. I almost want to have like two different characters, one to play through the game and then one to like grind really hard on hardcore. Um, because of course I'm gonna if you know I'm getting the game early, so I'm gonna at least attempt to try this challenge, even though I'm I'm not I'm a I'm a Diablo noob and know nothing about the game and I will probably struggle to <laughs> I'll probably die quite a bit because I'm gonna suck at the game. And I'm also probably gonna pick Barbarian, so yeah, um, I don't know. I, I think it's so dumb to see people mad about this. Like, come on, bro. why are you even mad about this? Really, it does, it's nothing. I mean, ooh, you get your name on a blizzard, a statue of blizzard that you'll never see. Wowie, it's not just crazy. Who really cares? Honestly, that's my big deal about it. it honestly, I feel this way about the WoW token. Who cares? Come on, man. But anyway. Just wanted to do a little video about that and also show off my new mic stand that I got. My little mic arm. Pretty cool, honestly. I'm excited about that. It's nice to be able to use my mic properly because I had my mic. I had it on my camera stand, on my tripod, and then not, not this one, like an actual, like, proper camera tripod. But I couldn't really, like, put it over here near my mouth. So it'd be, I, it would just have to, like, sit off to the side. Or I'd have to put the tripod in a really uncomfortable spot. But now that I have it here, you know, I'm really ha I'm really happy to have it. And, yeah, so that's really about it, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about today was this, this morning, you know, this new Blizzard controversy, which makes me just roll my eyes because it's so fucking stupid. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, if you guys want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'm super close to 50 subs. I don't want to say I'll do a giveaway for 50 subs, but I might think about it if people have some suggestions on stuff I could give away. Uh, maybe I could give away a copy of Diablo or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe I could, or of Diablo 4, you know, I could give them, you know, the money to buy it or whatever. Or I could gift it to you. I don't actually know if you can do that. Can I gift stuff to people? through Battle.net, uh, I would have to add you on Battle.net, I don't really want to do that, but, I mean, it's just a, it's just a cool competition for people that are going to be sweaty about the game and, and want to grind the game super hard when it comes out, that's really all it is, guys, it's nothing more than that, um, if you're going to be mad that you're not going to be one of the 100 people, then, hey man, put your familial obligations aside, put your job, take four days off, five days off, you know, clear your schedule for the weekend and grind the fuck out of the game and go be one of the first 
one hundred to hit level one to hit max level in the game. Simple as that. But yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, appreciate everybody who watches my videos. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Peace.